episode end, here we are. Come on, we're starting it right now. Well, I may not start it. Okay, that's the uh, that's because I already done episode one. But since you guys haven't seen me doing it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new game with me doing the episode one. New game. So we're gonna start from episode one, and it's this is like Minecraft story mode, but you know you it's more uh you know more. Realistic. Okay, I think I can. I'm not gonna do a video right now. Pieces of time, but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I'm okay. okay well, from light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful yeah. photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Yep. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name oh of the process God, that gave birth mom. to the first Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Portraits. Wait! Go to them. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. 
The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes con... Test. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide.